Hello, my dears. How are you? I am an English teacher, Trabaeva Tursnan Rabaldaevna, from Almaty region, Pinefield District, City Jarkent School after Abrai Altansarin. Today's lesson is Teens Problems. From Action Book, Grade 10. Learning Objectives. Lesson objectives are read the text for gist and the specific details, watch the video for specific details, and discuss the different ideas. Now, girls and the boys, these are new words from this text. You should listen to these new words, then repeat them after this video. And you should open your copy books, write down these new words into your copy books, and you should learn them by heart. Listen to them. Attend. Attend. Bright. Bright. Hang out with, hang out with, judge, judge, make excuses, make excuses, miserable, miserable, occasionally, occasionally, overcome. Overcome. Reassure. Reassure. Rush hour. Rush hour. Therapist. Therapist. Okay. Have you listened to them? Very good. Let's continue our lesson. Now, boys and the girls, watch the video and look at your books and follow the text. This text is on page 68, exercise 3. Teens Problems Hi, my name is Amy and I'm 21 years old. I enjoy hanging out with my friends, watching Netflix, and eating pizza. I'm studying graphic design at university. I also suffer from agoraphobia. It all started two years ago, when I was on the bus. It was during the rush hour, and the bus was packed. Suddenly, I started feeling hot. My palms were sweating. My heart was racing and I was finding it difficult to breathe. I felt so frightened. I didn't know it at the time, but I was having a panic attack. Over the next few weeks, I had more. I worried about when the next one would start, and so I began making excuses about why I couldn't go out. I stayed at home because I felt safe there, and it wasn't long before I was too afraid to go outside at all. I stopped attending classes at university, and I didn't take my exams, so I failed the year. I stopped going out with my friends, but I didn't tell them why, so they thought I didn't like them anymore, and they stopped calling me. I was at home, all day, alone, and miserable. I lived in this way for more than three months. Most days, I stayed in my pajamas, and some days I didn't even get out of bed. Then, one day, I saw a documentary on TV about a woman who had overcome her agoraphobia. She didn't wait for her fear to go away before she went outside. She faced it. I decided it was time to face my own fear. I called my friend, Tracy, and I told her the whole story. To my surprise, she didn't judge me. She came straight over to my house, and together we walked to the shop on the corner of my street to buy a magazine. It was terrifying. The outside world felt so big, so bright, so loud. My heart 
heart started beating faster. I can't do this, I told Tracy. She looked me in the eyes. Yes, you can, she reassured me. That was what I needed. Someone who believed in me. I made it to the shop in the back, and the next day, Tracy came with me to the doctor's. I still suffer from agoraphobia, and I still get panic attacks occasionally, but I'm getting better every day. I see a therapist every two weeks, but the most helpful people are my friends. They are always there to support me in everything I do. Thank you, guys. Okay. Have you watched these videos? Do you understand the text? And uh, what about what this text? What is her the most phobia? Open your book at page 68, exercise 3. You can see there exercise 3. Read the text and the for questions from 1 till 5, choose the correct answer A, B, C or D. Open your copy books and write this text exercise into your copy book books and send to my own WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. The lesson is over. Goodbye.